So are we excited about trying to go to church today? <laughs> Good morning. It's actually morning time, believe it or not. And just did some skincare. I think I'm gonna make church today. Um, so I am kind of doing a get ready with me. I wanna be able to get to church. Get me to the church on time. Anybody know where that's from? Anyway, um, yeah, so, oh, why does it look like I'm out of focus? I mean, it's kind of nice. I got to say, I'm not complaining, but it's like a, kind of like a soft focus. So we'll just go with that. I have a feeling that these guys actually help uh, for people who are a little older, who have enlarged pores, because, you know, they sag. So I feel like that's why maybe sometimes for younger people, they don't need it, but maybe for us older people, we do. And you just need it in the places like, you know right here and for me like here 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 in the chin kind of like the sort of kind of t-zone so just wanted to say that yeah i feel like um this might be like a primer that does poor minimizing might be more for for us older ladies this is what lip plumpers do i always get this redness up top the top lip <laughs> Who cares? It's not that bad. Um, yeah, the other reason why I was thinking about that this would be good is if you're going to be baking. I think the other day when I felt like I was getting a lot of uh, like a really smooth canvas, it was using this and the um, Fit Me um, powder, the uh, loose powder, seemed to really work really nicely. In the meantime, I'm going to work on my eyelashes. Now, like I said, I recommend... I think that for those of us who have more sparse lashes, I think that we should do work on our lashes first. Um, and kind of because it can get kind of messy because you kind of need some separation. Now I am going to try to look for a lash comb. Um, otherwise I have to use a, a safety pin, which I hate doing. Um, so to prevent that, I like to kind of, um, I'll just kind of go through uh, with it, with you guys, like how I do it. So I'm going to take like a spoolie and I'm just gonna, what I'm gonna do is just brush all of them, almost roll it up, but make sure, because my lashes tend to go inward, the end lashes, and I, I like it to fan out more. I do feel like I have sparser lashes. And so with that, and I think a lot of times as we grow older, we tend to lose, you know, ha hair um, in various places, but we're not gonna go into that. Uh, <laughs> You know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, so it with lashes, we got to, like, work with what we got and try to capitalize it, on it and make sure that we get every eyelash gets its the attention. See how it's kind of gathering here? I don't know if you can see that. So I'm going to try to see if I can separate that some more. And this is why I like to do work on my lashes before because I'm going to be doing the same rolling thing and it's going to transfer and I don't want I don't even put anything under my eye what I like to do is I'm going to use this MAC um, extreme dimension 3d black lash um, to separate and to lengthen and then I might go over it with maybe my roller lash um, this one I've, uh, just to kind of give a little bit more volume or sometimes I like this one actually this is pretty good this is the Ulta legendary lengths because I do like to add a little bit of volume just to make the lashes a little bit thicker so that's what we're doing I just want to demonstrate see how I'm going all the way up and I am transferring because I really want to focus on getting every lash and making sure everything is separate so hopefully you can get that. So this is the before and this is the after, just with the MAC. The hardest part is the inner corner. And then of course I do like, is it nine o'clock already? Oh man. No. Oh. Husband, he said he was gonna be gone for a little bit. And so he said he'd be back around nine. I was like, no way, it can't be nine. But I just looked, it's 8.30, so I got plenty of time. Well, relatively of time right, so I'm gonna use this supposedly you wet this and it, hopefully it'll clean that mascara so we'll see how it goes looks pretty good yeah took it right off for the under eye and then I do I'm adding the revitalize under the eye 
I really liked how that look looked and um, eventually I'm going to combine these together for my foundation. I like to put use the age rewind this is in the color what's this medium um, and so I like to put this on my nose I find that the other concealers that I've used don't do as good of a job as the um, Maybelline and I kind of just roughly put it on because eventually I am going to uh, go over it with the beauty sponge I like to let it set um, a la uh, Jackie Ina who does that so all right so it's kind of set long enough I'm not gonna set the under eye just yet it's probably not a good idea because it is gonna crease but I just find that when I start tearing up it just makes a big mess it's already been powdered it's a disaster all right so I'm back I got dressed I thought I was gonna kind of dress up but I, I just wasn't up for it I think I was telling you guys about how um, I'm just not feeling very understood by my church um, with my health issues and just seeing it with other um, people in my church who are not being um, taken care of so so it's gonna be I don't know how it's gonna turn out so that's why I'm a little stressed I'm hoping that I'll be able to um, I'm hoping to be able to mend some fences um, back in December some kind something happened it wasn't like like horrible or anything like that but it kind of caused a rift with some of my friends. I don't know how today is going to be. I hope it goes well. Um, I hope we got can get some healing. But um, some other people that it'd be nice to hear from. Hopefully get something. I'm cleaning my brushes right now. Get them ready for makeup. So I'm really tired right now, but I think that's because I'm stressed. So just going to kind of take it easy from here and do the best because I really do want to go and I do want to um because you know it's kind of hanging over my head I hope I can be an agent of change um because I don't think it's just with my church I think it's with a lot of churches they don't understand how to take care of people who have um special things going on in their lives like chronic illness so I just went over my face with the at NYX. This is the finishing powder. And what I did was I decided to, um, instead of like dusting it, I kind of wanted to pack it so that it, um, I just wanted it to be able to set better. So now um, I got these um, bronzers off of um, Shop Miss A. This is Amuse Eliminator, Illuminator, um, they're all like numbers, <laughs> so I'm not going to go into them all, but I really like them. I felt like this one might be more of my color um, because a lot of times bronzers tend to make me look um, red. This is another bronzer, and then this is a highlighter, and I was such a sucker for it because it has like a pink shimmer to it, which so this one I can at least tell you the color, can I? This is Eris. <clears throat> this is by AOA. That's their, I guess, their in uh, website brand or whatever. They all, unfortunately, came totally crumbled. So that was uh, kind of a bummer, but I'm going to try this one. Is this coming in any? Yeah, it's like a long number. So i got to be really careful. Uh, these are not messing around. So we're going to try this blush. This is Malibu Glitz. Uh, I don't know what the name of it is, but also off of shop. Miss A, and this is a uh, pink coral. So we're gonna try that on the cheek. I'm more of a pink girl, although I would like to get that one, um, I hate to say the name, but you know, the, the organism by, uh, <laughs> I don't know if you've ever seen that video. She calls it organism. It's pretty. Oh, that is pretty. These were like, I went to look for like the highest rated, um, Makeup? Yeah, see, it's very patchy. I, I like the color, but it's very patchy. I'm going to go over it with this. Um, this is Lumi Radiant Blush by the AOA Studio. And this is Frantic Pink. So I'm kind of going over it um, just to make it a little shimmery, more shimmery, because who doesn't love more shimmer? And then I'm going to go over um, the with highlighter. This is the Eris. This is my favorite eyeshadow. Uh, highlighter brush. So I like to 
kind of go around here. Take my big old brush, just kind of blend it all in. I'm gonna wear a hat. Because of my pink hair, I don't want it to be like, I just kind of want to be low key there. Um, next, I'm going to do my lips and lastly will be my brows. I'm sorry I'm so tired, AOA, this is the Wonder Mats. I have some balm already on, so I have it in Savage and I have it in um, Echo because I gave up my um, Kat Von D. Um, anyway i'm so sorry i'm tired but it's because i'm stressed about going to church not knowing what to do and so when i get stressed i get really really tired does anybody else do that does anybody else who have has issues with chronic illness or anxiety do they get like tremendously tired like i do i'd love to know liner girl so i'm using heroin uh <laughs> let me <laughs> lip liner heroin every time i say that i always laugh okay makeup is all done I really love this highlighter, the Eris. This is the um, AOA Perfect Pressed Highlighter. I would say yes. Um, I just tried this pigment that's also by AOA that is, was a disappointment. It just kind of like went all over the place. It was very powdery. This is the AOA highlighter and uh, this is in Moonbeam. But it might be kind of fun like as an all over kind of thing. So. I mean, I kind of love my hair. It's kind of like all crazy. Maybe I'll just, who cares? Just go out there and do my thing, right? Apprehensive. I'm just going to be kind of open with my people because I have talked to them about my feeling hurt by the church, not understanding my um, issues with my health and stuff. Okay, Chin, it's enough of that. <laughs> Stop looking at it, right? I've, I can't help it. There we go. See, there we go. That's it. That's it. And you can look at my... I'm, I'm wearing my bee necklace because it makes me think about um, Muhammad Ali. But, yeah, so, you know, we've had... We've been going to this church for more than 25 years. I love this church. It's had its share of problems. And like I was saying earlier, I hope to be a part of helping it to change to be more accommodating to people who have special needs, whether it's health or just life situation, whatever it may be. And uh, so, like I said, I've got some, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to heal any conflicts today, but I am gonna be making it, but I am a little apprehensive. I don't know how it's gonna go. I know my husband's got me, he's got my back. Not that anyone's gonna jump on me, but. So, yeah. We'll see how it goes. But anyway, here's my look. Look good, <laughs> looks good.